Hey YouTube, thanks for joining me back in my kitchen. Um, I'm gonna do the first uh, side dish in my Thanksgiving dinner lineup series. An old classic, everyone usually has this on the Thanksgiving dinner table, but I'm gonna zhuzh it up and give it, show you how I personally make my stuffing. Um, stay tuned and I will show you how to do that next. Okay guys, we're back. Um, as far as the stuffing recipe goes, Remember how I said it's your holiday too and you shouldn't have to be slaving away in the kitchen for all hours of the day. So making stuffing from scratch, while it's completely acceptable and completely fine if that's the approach that you'd like to take, it's not necessary here. Um, the turkey or the stuffing isn't really the, the, the star of the Thanksgiving Day dinner. That's your turkey. Um, I go ahead and I use stovetop. There's no shame in that game. Um, you guys use whatever dressing, stuffing, whatever your favorite is. Um, I use stovetop because I feel like it tastes great. Um, so you prepare that however the directions say to on the back of the box. And then at the same time, you're going to be wanting to um, brown one pound of sausage. Now I would not suggest a so hot sausage here. I would suggest a mild to a medium, uh, not really a maple flavored either. We're not looking for a breakfast sausage, we're looking more for something you would put in like a pasta dish or um, savory dish at any rate. But I'm going to go ahead and brown up my sausage here and when that is completely finished I will bring you back. Okay now that my sausage is browning I'd like to toast my pecans. You just spritz your baking sheet lightly with your cooking spray. You kind of just spread out your pecans. They're pretty flavorful because you don't want a ton, plus we're going to chop them. But then to a 350 degree preheated oven, we're going to just put them in for five minutes until you start smelling them. Um, you don't want to burn them, so don't go anywhere. Just kind of keep an eye on them. Um, trust me, this is an essential part to this. It makes it like next level. So I will bring you back for the next step. Okay guys, we're back. My pecans have toasted and I diced them in my little mini chopper or chopped them. Um, I forgot to mention when I was cooking the sausage, I normally double this recipe because I make some to go inside the bird. And then I actually make some to go um, just in a bowl on the table so that way if people want more they can have more. Um, so instead of a pound of sausage it's a half a pound. Um, I digress. So you make your sausage or your uh, dressing or stuffing however the package indicates. I'm using stove top so it said I think it was a cup and a half of water with four tablespoons of butter. Bring it to a boil and then I add my my stuffing mix and to that I'm just going to give it a quick stir to that I add three tablespoons of apple cider it's going to seem a little too wet in the beginning but I promise it's not because we're going to be adding extra stuff To that I'll add my pecans. Now I usually add about a cup. I feel like this is more than a cup. I'm going to go ahead and say half a cup. I should write these things down but I don't. I have a cup of cr dried cranberries or the craisins. Go ahead and put that in there. And then half of your sausage, so half a pound of sausage. Mix her up. And I'm telling you the cranberries and the pecans and the sausage, it acts, I don't know, it's just, it really brings this dish up quite a bit. I mean, it's, uh, stuffing is not really bland to begin with, but I'm telling you it, it People think that you, you spent the extra mile on this. Alright, I'm going to leave the lid on it covered for about 10-15 minutes just so all those um, 
The liquids can get nicely incorporated. If you find it's dry, you can add a little bit more apple cider or water or even a couple of teaspoons of butter. But that is it. That is my Thanksgiving uh, dressing. I usually only make this for, for Thanksgiving. I, this is kind of more than a, a side dish for a Tuesday night. So it kind of just dresses up your traditional Thanksgiving stuffing. If you liked the video today, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my additional videos. I'm going to be doing more uh, Thanksgiving dishes and uh, tips in the future in the next couple weeks. And I don't want you to miss out on those. I thank you guys so much and you guys have a great afternoon or day or whatever time it is. It's afternoon here. <laughs>